So, Coley, we had Stop. you on. Are, are, have you – I've heard two things. Three things. Three. You, three. I'm going to start with one. Okay. Y- you may be resigning. Two, yeah. you already resigned, according to Nate. And th- <laughs> I, I guess that's two. And then the third, what I've said is, like, I assume if if Coley is resigning, he's going to tell me. In front, and that's where we're at. So, as far as I know, nothing is happening. But you can clear the air. Erica said you were unhappy with some things. The things she said when she mentioned it were things that, from my perspective, weren't fixable necessarily. But like, so it's like, all right, well, if he's unhappy, he's unhappy. Um, so why I, don't you just I mean, clear I, the air? I think it's pretty historic. You finally believed Nate on something. No, I didn't. I didn't believe Nate. That just came up during the course of this. Who said that, Eddie? Uh, you Austin did, Kareem. Did you? I didn't say it. Austin. Austin. Austin said that Nate said you were already on going to the second week of your two weeks notice. Uh, yeah, last Friday. So not let's say Tuesday, five days ago, twelve days ago. I called Erica. And- she asked me if I wanted to quit in May, and I said I couldn't because uh, my wife was pregnant, and that felt like a bad idea to do that without health insurance. Um, and so then I called her when everything looked like it was in the clear uh, health-wise. And this is something I've struggled with all year. Like This isn't something I woke up one day and said, I don't want to work here anymore. This has been months of waking up, really digesting it, like, what do I want to do? What's going to make me happy? And yeah, I, I, I finally, not finally, like every day I would go to the, I end up with the same conclusion. Like, yeah, I think I need to try something new. I need, to, I think I need, I mean, I've been here a long time. Uh, I don't necessarily see any more room for growth, which is tough. Um, and I'm just uh, largely unhappy. Uh, so I, I think this is what I have to do. It's not necessarily, what I want to do. I don't know that it's necessarily the correct decision. I think I'm going to have to look back in a few years and be like, was that right? Yes or no. But when I quit a so few you years, did quit. Ago, so is Nate correct? I put in my two weeks. Yeah. So how did, how do I not know that? Well, Erica said she talked to you directly. She said you were thinking about it, but like, why won't you just tell you, you didn't think to tell me. I was absolutely going to tell you when, well, Last week, me and both of my kids were dog shit sick. So I wasn't going to call you with like cloudy headed and tell you I'm leaving, knowing how talking to you can go. Uh, felt better yesterday. Today, I was considering calling you today or tomorrow. And I know that you probably aren't going to believe that since you had to drag me in here to talk to you. Well, I but didn't believe it. Like, I, I, I honestly, but even if we rewind the show, I'm like, I'm pretty sure if he if he quit, he would tell me. Like of course know. I would tell you. I, I mean, when you can ask Erica, when I talked to her, she she said, do you want to quit today? Two Fridays ago. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm like, I'm, I'm not trying to be a dick about this. Like, I'm trying to give the two weeks. I'm trying to do everything uh, as as professionally and respectfully as possible. You guys have been very good to me. I've known you since fucking 2010. Like, this isn't just quitting a normal job. Like, there's a lot of emotion behind it. There's a lot of history behind it. Um, it's, it's not like, uh, I fucking work at seven 11 and I'm just giving my two week notice. Like, no, I, this is uh, a different kind of company. And I was absolutely going to call you. It would be insane. I was going to call you. I was going to call big cat KFC. Um, was there anyone else on my list? Yeah. I got text. Huh? Yes. I don't know if I would have called him. I might've, I would have texted him. I would have told him directly. I don't know if I would have called him. Oh, I- to be completely like honest, and I know he's—I yeah. know he's sitting right there. I don't know yeah. that I would have called him. Gaz, you don't like him? I don't. I have no problem with Gaz. It's like what I got to call fucking fifty people. Like I don't. Uh, like I said I, I don't, don't know. know you've I you've known him as long as me. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. What do you mean? For the so most yeah, that's fair. I probably, like I said, I I don't know. I probably yeah. would have. At a certain point, it's fucking. When I talked to Erica, it was very emotional. Like where it was an emotional experience. Like how many people can I do that with before I'm tapped out? Like I wouldn't have called Eddie. I'm sorry, Eddie. No, it's I don't okay. think Eddie would have expected a phone call. I, am I right? Uh, and we're going back. Uh, it, 
True or false? There's nothing we could have. The, the, the issues you have are beyond our control. Yeah, like when, and I don't even know how many people know this. When I quit to work for Complex, when I called you, you picked up on the first ring, which shocked me. You said my name correctly for the first time, also shocked me. And when we hung up, I I felt horrible. I, I knew instantly that that was the wrong decision. And luckily, you called me back seconds later and fixed it. This, yeah, I don't, I don't really when was see that? it. Super, this was right before the move to New York. Okay. Well, yeah, I was caught off guard by that one. And so he, he quit, like, again... I got the call. I wasn't expecting it. And then I hung up and before it, it's almost like a little, I don't, they're different, but the same thing to O'Day that by the, I get it sometimes late, like, but it's like, well, what, what's like, if I think if I value you as an employee, I'll try to, if, if, and you're like, I'm not happy, I'll try to fix what's yeah. not happy to keep you from what the reasons that I've been given that are unfixable. There's nothing beyond there's nothing to do to fix what I've been told Coley is not happy with or why he thinks he has to move, try something else. Which is, I don't know if you want me to say the reasons. I don't know you if you can. Trying. When Tyler left, the, the person mostly keeping me here was Jared and Jared left. Right. So it's right. like, like I said, if the day Jared left, if I just quit, that would have been an emotional rash decision. That was six months ago. Like this, this has been six months of waking up dealing with a very complicated pregnancy. So that was stressful enough. That was another reason why I wanted that out of the picture too, because I didn't want to make, that was so heavy on my mind. I was like, all right, maybe that's affecting how I'm thinking about this. Maybe once that's over with, I can sit here and and reassess and maybe I'll feel a lot differently. And I didn't. So like, I, I, I can't keep yeah. just living this yeah. same so way. It's, it's Carabas's fault. A hundred percent. Nothing I can do about that. Man got selfish and took a bag. I mean, cost Coley his life. That's a shame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he knows that. And and he's uh, he's gonna not to, happy with himself. He's, he's going to have to live with that. going to mm-hmm. have to live with that on a pile. I hope the money was worth it for Carabas. <laughs> but truly, and I, I mean, I had a feeling, even if I did call you, you'd say, let's do it publicly because that's just who you are. Uh, I do want to thank you. Like, I, I, I truly don't have, like, that's what's made it so hard. I don't have animosity. Like, I'm not furious. I don't want to burn this place down. It sucks, but I do think I'm making the right decision. We'll see in a few years, maybe even sooner than that, whether or not I'm, I'm correct. But it's something I feel like I have to do. Yeah. So, again, th- those were the messages that were pretty much echoed to me. I, I thought I didn't know it was official. I, I thought I think that's kind of nuts. You didn't tell me Eric when you is- put it in. Eric is like holding out hope. It's not real. I think. Yeah. Again, I would have thought you would have been like, "Hey, two weeks, blah." We would have had this conversation a week ago. We didn't. Whatever. But uh, yeah, I, it, the messaging I got was what you just said. So there's not. I mean, there's nothing. It is what it is. If you, you feel like you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Coley, was there anything direction to the company related that you were unhappy with? Was there anything barstool related that you didn't like that was going on? Not. Not that like push me to make this decision. No, like there's, I mean, there's shit every day I see uh, reading blogs that I'm like, oh, this is fucking stupid. But like, that wasn't what pushed me out the door. Joe, it's mostly you lost your two guys and that made it a less desirable place. I mean, we talk, we talk about it a lot. Like this is a company where people outside of Dave, really people pair up. Like people, people get their guys, they do their own stuff. It's a great platform when you have your guys because you're left to yourself. You can do whatever you want. You can build it however big you can build it. I was fortunate enough to have two of those guys and neither of them are here anymore. So it's it's tough. Like it, to me, it's like, could I find another person and try and build another thing? Yeah, I could. But like you it, play it, poker. <laughs> i need to uh, i'm uh, me and the aces boys me and mincy i mean we're we're a dynamic duo there's no arguing that the dog you you the dog <laughs> mincy what a, what a crew. i'm already on a team with the dog i don't know how many teams with the dog i can be on he's 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 great i love nate but it, it can be a lot sometimes i think uh i think the next natural question is is there 
Is there plans to join one of your former partners? Is that is that in the works or was that? I like I've said I've I've told Eric of this like I'm truly just quitting and hoping for the best. I don't I don't know if resigning is the right word. I don't I don't I'm not sure, but I I haven't spoken to anyone anywhere else about anything. Like I'm not trying to fuck around with that. I'm not trying to fuck around with this company. When I'm in the clear, whenever that is, we'll see. Like my my phone will be open. I don't I don't really know if anyone's interested. I have no idea. I will say, and this is something that I might as well say publicly, like I'm a Coley guy. Anybody who's been with me that long, I was a Carabas guy. Like I, I'm pretty convinced Carabas will eventually be back here. I could be wrong about that. Uh, he goes back. Having said that, when you just said the the reunite and it's the same thing I said with to Carabas, anybody who works for a direct competitor of ours, which he does, will we would be against direct competitors. So that I'll. That I don't. That would be the only thing that I would see. We'd run into issues. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna go do a podcast with Carabas on DraftKings." We would have a major problem with that. I didn't say reunite. Eddie did. No, I know. I'm answering Eddie's question. Mm-hmm. Sure, I'm gonna. And I understand problems could certainly arise. I have a family to take care of. I like whoever's offering me money. I have to get a job. And I told this to Erica when when she said similar things like. I've worked in one industry for my entire adult life, and that's the sports entertainment industry. I find it hard that there's like I, I would need a very clear definition and not just one company of like what competitors are, because that seems to be pretty wishy washy. I don't think it's that wishy washy. I do. You you think it's wishy washy whether DraftKings is a competitor of ours? No, 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 no. But it's so more yeah, like, we're we're pretty lenient. I think you'd find a like. Five ish, you know, like I, we look at, at least I do, the pen world as like that. That's how I'd look at the world of of who is a direct. So a DK, a FanDuel, a Caesars, an MGM, like those are who right now I view direct, direct, direct. You can't be more direct than those guys. I want all the people who leave us for the most part to be successful, um, but. It's the same thing why I couldn't give Jared the, the fucking name of the name of, of the podcast. It's just like you're going to the you can't quit you you can't have a contract with the Red Sox. Be like I'm done with this contract, go to the Yankees. Other than that, like I want people to be successful. Liz Cambridge did just do that. I gotta be honest, I don't know who that is. <laughs> she's she's a WNBA player. She uh she's really good. She was playing for LA. They had a contract divorce, which I've never seen that language before in the sports industry. Uh, and uh, she's free to sign with who she wants. What's a divorce? Yeah. A divorce, I assume, would be like when, when you actually officially get divorced, both people sign a paper. That's a divorce, right? I've never done it. But I assume that's what it is. Like that's the legal like to divorce when someone gets divorced, both people sign papers and then you're legal. You hear things where like, oh, they won't sign the papers. You can't get it. So in that case, you become a free agent. I would assume that's what they did. That's yeah, that's what it sounds like. I didn't look too much yeah. into it, but that's what it sounds like. Uh, the Red Sox Yankees thing doesn't like. Can you trade me somewhere? Because like that would be that would be Kevin Durant, like demanding a trade. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't know that that. that yeah, we could trade. You could trade me to someone. <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to. <laughs> we may uh, have he, to. You would love to be to traded. Into that. We what? may have to look into that. We, oh, I, I do a trade. You tra- <laughs> for who? <laughs> I don't know what, what's a, who's out there. What's the market? <laughs> Listen, if you're telling me I can go like a rod this and go find a trade partner, yeah, we, we can we can talk trade. I think you could probably <laughs> trade. If like, listen. Like, if all parties agreed, it's like, here's his contract. Company X, you inherit it. We get this back. Absolutely. I think you can trade. There, I mean, I'm trying to think. I, I Have we done a buyout before? Like, I know when we were going through stuff. No, we've we've had certain. I'm not going to say which what, but when, like, there certain things have arisen. And it's like, well, if they want to do, go there, that company's going to have to buy the contract. You it's sort of similar to a trade. All right. 
then we're going to have to figure some stuff out. Because my biggest... may, may, Maybe you, I, I don't know, maybe you can get a bit, like, again. I, it's well, my biggest obvious. thing is, my biggest thing is I understand not wanting to lose people to competitors. That's no fucking duh. My biggest thing is I don't want to hit the open market and have no leverage. You know what I mean? Like, and I know that's not your problem. That's my problem. But when you're saying like, so if a trade can be worked out, I'm willing to talk trade. Well, yeah. I mean, of course, who doesn't want to have leverage, but right. And I get that's a me problem versus a you problem. And that's, that's where we're going to end up button heads on all this. But like, I, I just need to do what's best for, for me and mine. And like I said, this may not work out. I'm, and I'm, that's why I'm trying to do this as, as, professionally not even professionally it's personally because this is a personal thing more than anything so you like, kind of you kind of it may have been because of everything you're going through in hindsight you fucked up re-signing that contract well i didn't think you guys would fuck up re-signing jared how we didn't fuck up of course you did you let how? him go to free agency it's the same thing the red sox are doing with devers you uh, let him go oh, to free agency. Oh, oh by waiting too long yeah and you know that happened well yeah, so I mean, you can't predict that type of contract being well, offered. Of course you can't, but that's the that's the risk you run letting people hit free agency. Yeah, I guess I like it, it benefited for him, and and I love Jared, but outside you of you, fucking hate Jared. <laughs> no, I like Jared, but I mean Jared. Let, I let's like, like let's also not. I mean Jared. As much as we want to make him out to be a choir boy, the, the the guy was taking his contract to WEI and trying to, like, do shady <laughs> shit like 10 years ago. So he's not some, like, choir boy out there. He's a, Listen, he's a he's a, a known bag chaser. I respect it. Right. So, I mean, whatever. And, and by the way, that didn't really have much to do. Like, we don't really re-sign all that early. I, I, I wasn't overly involved in that process, to be honest. And oh. What? No, I, I know. But I never am because most of the times we pay, I would say, on the high end of the pay scale. And people, yeah. for the most part, like working here. You have, I don't want to say morons. He got, <laughs> he got like an, a, one of those contracts that everyone looks at like, oh, what are those people doing? He just got one of those contracts. Good for him. Yeah. I'm legitimately Right place, right happy. time. I told him to take the contract. I'm like, yeah. dude, it, it, like you're, that's a shit ton of money. I, you you don't feel bad about it. Do it. Like you're you're weirdly helping us show how dumb they are. I mean that's a fucking fact. But good for him. I like how you're congratulating someone by telling them like, listen, we don't value you nearly that much. So if someone else does, go ahead. Nobody listen. Nobody <laughs> in their right mind like overpays by the amount that they overpaid. But good for him. I'm happy. I honestly am oh, happy. No. The, the, the man had the kid. The boy had posters of me growing up in his room. <laughs> like, good for him. So, and and honestly, Coley, <laughs> if someone's going to give you seven figures, like, I, I'd i genuinely be like, yes. Like, so happy for you. Same. I don't anticipate that, but same. That'd be sick. I yeah, don't anticipate I, that, but yeah, I would love that. When's your deal up, Coley? Uh, here? Yeah. Oh. So it's two years left. He re-signed recently. Yeah. yeah. I re-signed October 2020. Listen, I will, and it would be the same with Jared. I would do everything in my power, whether people believe this or not, to help Coley in his next endeavor as long as someone was just like, what are you, dumb? Like you, you're, you're literally like helping him do something that is directly because I do have in this world other people will be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like it, there, there's, but other than that, it's something that's so fucking obviously like you, you can't do that. I would help him in any way possible. I want him to make as much, and I wish he was staying, but like it is what is it is. Is it is it savable at all, Coley? This, yeah. Well, that's why I keep saying, like, I'm not trying to if I was truly furious, like I would I wouldn't be sitting here like you would have texted me and I would have said, fuck, no. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not fair. It's more of an unfortunate thing than a furious thing. That's why it's like, <clears throat> do I think it's savable right now? No, I don't, because I've spent the six last six months waking up, going to bed. Same thought every single day. 
in the down the road, like Jared, like Dave's saying, he thinks Jared's coming back down the road. Do I see myself coming back? I have no idea. I don't want to rule that out. I don't want to. I don't want to burn that bridge. I don't want to close that door for no fucking reason when I've already built so much here. But right now, I do think I need to be somewhere else. That's how I truly feel. That's how I wake up every morning and feel. Do you have the same thought about Coley, Dave? That with Jared, do you think he'll be back at some point? I think there's a chance. I think Coley's a more complex. Like Jared's a simpleton. I, I like Coley's, <laughs> Coley's a far more complex person. So, do you want uh, Jared to come back? It sounds like no. <laughs> no, I think Jared will come back, but he's a simpleton. Like I know what Jared's thinking before he does. I mean, it. it, it Coley Coley's far more unpredictable. I would say of a guy. So I need to go find a trade. Is that no, no. official? If you want to go do a Red Sox podcast with uh, Jared Carabas, yeah, we need some sort of fucking trade. And it, okay. do, and by the way, don't don't be like we'll give you um, the Black Brandon and and uh, what's the other guy? Uh, who's he do his? I don't want that podcast. So don't don't that podcast. I don't want. So don't put that on the trade table. All right, because I don't want that podcast. Listen, I, all I need to know is if if that's how I need to move. Then they got to give us something of value. Yeah. Okay. If that's what you, if that's your dream, like to go there and do that. Like I said, it's it's all I want is as many options as possible. So I'm I'm glad we figured out a way to allow me to allow me that. Yeah. I'm open to trade offers for sure. <laughs> we need every roster of those five companies and get Trade Machine going. That'd be fucking unbelievable. Uh, who who else do they have that's a value? <laughs> You're going to love this, Coley. <laughs> they, this. Hey, listen, Kevin Durant's not the only big dick on the trade market anymore. All right? <laughs> Try I don't know that they have anything of value. <laughs> they have to have something. They must have something. What? Oh, Matt Kalish is the guy. He's like the founder guy. Yeah, he's. I'm actually. He's. He. I have nothing bad to say about him. He gave me the seat to the Celtics next to him. Matt Kalish, nice guy. Um, All right. So, what if I convince him he will no longer offer Celtics seats? Is that something of value to you? No, we had him anyways. He just wanted me to be on TV because he thought uh, close to the Golden State bench. He thought I could get in. Uh, in, in Draymond's head. Uh, that didn't work. No, it didn't. Well, <laughs> he didn't do anything. It wasn't him. Um, eh, was a- I'm not here to rehash that. That was yeah, a, a yeah, tough yeah. week. That yeah. was a tough week. No, I won't. Uh, hmm. What's like, if, can, uh, now I'm just curious. Like, if, if, what's my in value in your eyes on, a, in a, on the open market? Well, it's more preventative. It's like, I don't, like, I don't know how to equate that. Like, am I like a 27 year old still in single A? No, no, you're super valuable. You're, you're hard, guys like you are hard to find. And you, there's probably the value always, like, you know us so well. So finding somebody like you're, you're irreplaceable in that regard because you've been with us so long and you get the culture and you get everything about Barstool. So that's very hard to, you know, you, you, you go out and what happens if Mooj comes in? Like, you know, it, it, I like people who know us very well understandable so didn't anticipate coming on here and getting complimented but i'll take it why you didn't <laughs> think i'd compliment you not necessarily uh i mean you're not like the king of compliments and you know no, that. i don't compliment people very much but someone's leaving i mean i again i said the same thing about jared when he left i happy for him it you do right by us i do right by you for the most part for sure and i've always respected that about you and yeah. that's why i wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me and why i'm not like furious and well and, i would have been stunned if you were furious like i i, I right that, but that, i mean most people i feel like don't quit like in a happy way yeah like that it's a hard yeah. thing to do yeah 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 fair all right well if you get any trade offers let me know <laughs> and you know i, I feel like I, I feel like they're going to you i do i i have to facilitate this trade well, no, they could they could come to me. I guess it all. There's only one co- like the only one we'd be talking about. I assume is DK because of the your G- Carabas guy, and he's over. Well, there. I'm. I mean, I've I've the like like you said, you didn't know that this was official. I haven't really told many people. 
Um, I've told PFT because I do a show with him now uh, and he was trying to get me paid for it. And I just kept saying no. And he was like, well, that's weird. You don't want any money. Um, I've told Nate and hubs obviously, because I work with them directly. Um, but yeah, I really haven't, I told chaps cause I just saw him the other day and he's talking about moving to Maine and he was talking about starting a show with me. And I said, that might be tough. Um, but that's really it. Like I haven't, I haven't told many people. So it's not like I, I, I have all these offers waiting. Um, yeah. So I, when does this come out? Tonight. 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 So, yeah, I, I assume the, the trade market will be a buzz. <laughs> yeah. And again, if I don't view it as a direct competitor, we don't need to trade. I mean, you're free to go. do. Well, so thing. like that's my other question, because obviously I said Tyler and Jared and I haven't spoken to Tyler about this at all. But like he works for underdog fantasy. Like, do you consider them a competitor? That's what. That's why I asked because I do think it's wishy washy because like they are a fantasy sports company. Yeah, you know I, I mean? think I know. I'd have to look a lot closer at them. Um, not. I'd. I'd have to look closer at them. And, I know it's like personal with not personal, but like FanDuel, DraftKings, like they're obvious direct competitors. Correct. That's why I wanted the clarification because they. Correct. That's why it's like because Erica was telling me like go back into like the weed industry and i was like all my connections in that are eight nine years old they're dead so that's why it's yeah, like yeah yeah i was basically relayed to me that i couldn't work in sports media anyway yeah it's a slippery slope and this isn't a you issue it, it's an anybody it's like if yeah. someone's under contract and it's like oh, i'm gonna stop and go there it's like well now are there i, I tend to be exemptions of or try to do workarounds with somebody who's been with us as long as you have. Right. And I, I don't think it's like financially motivated and things like that. So I want to make it work for you. The question I'm sure and Erica has or anybody is like, well, if we just start doing that, does that, does the next person get to leverage the decision we made with you to be like, Oh, that, that's sure. something we got to evaluate. But I, on a personal, I don't know how we do this. Somebody who's put in the time you have with us, I'd want to accommodate as much as I possibly can without it coming back to blow us up in the face when Joe Blow, who's been here for a year, wants to do the same move you did, maybe not for the same reasons you have. So it can get a little tricky in that, but my instinct is accommodate you to a move like underdog fantasy. I don't know if we can. I'd have to look at it a lot closer, but that's my knee-jerk reaction to something like that. Right, and I understand I I don't exist in a vacuum here. I understand there's other repercussions that have nothing to do with me but do affect the company. Like, I do get that, um, and that's it's something that just needs to be worked out, obviously. Right, yeah, yeah. We'll see. All right. Well, let me know if you got any trade uh, prospects and please come on the show and let us know so we could do it. Eddie, live. and I swear to fucking God, Eddie, if I see a 20 round draft <laughs> in, from Bar Barcelona, Chicago, now that I'm gone, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I know. We might have to do it before this week. <laughs> we might, I don't know. Now that I'm in on the open market, I don't know if Friday is my last day. I don't know. <laughs> if, <laughs> I don't know anything anymore. That's true. That's true. Um, all right, then. Dave, Coley, anything else? No. Good. How's right, the shoulder? Dave. Me? Yeah. Bad. Hurt. <laughs> Terrible. It was a great catch. Yeah. And it put it in some shambles. I woke up. I, I, I tried to actually go to CVS and buy a sling, but they don't have any. That's tough. Yeah, it is tough. All right. I'll talk to you later, Coley. Yeah. All right. Cool. See ya. We'll be in communication.